Indian troops in their continuing acts of state terrorism martyred two more Kashmiri youth in Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir today. The youth identified as Adil Hussain Mir and Abdullah Gojri were martyred by the troops during a cordon and search operation in Bimina area of Srinagar. The troops also launched a violent cordon and search operation in Mishipura area of Kulgam district today. The situation turned tense after the troops opened fire in the area. Jammu-based all-party Suryat Conference leader advocate Devinder Singh Behel in a statement expressed grave concern over the massacre of Kashmiri youth by Indian troops. He said that India was unsuccessfully trying to suppress the struggle for freedom through killing unarmed youth. Devinder Singh Behel urged the international community to increase pressure on India to stop human rights violation in the occupied territory. Narendra Modi led fascist Indian government as part of its plan to keep the people of Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir educationally backward has ordered succession of academic activities in schools run by Falai Arm Trust, an affiliate of the Jamaat-e-Islami of the occupied territory. The Maharashtra police arrested a Kashmiri man from Doda district in Jammu on a fake charge of fund transfers. The relatives and friends of the detained person refute the allegation against him and said that under a well-orchestrated policy, Modi government is harassing Kashmiris in and outside Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir in an attempt in vain to suppress their spirit for freedom. People's Democratic Party Chief Mehbooba Mufti in a statement in Srinagar said that Bharati Janata Party leader Nupur Sharma's derogatory remarks were part of the BJP strategy to incite Muslims and provoke a backlash against them. Meanwhile, speakers at a function in Maryland, the U.S., appealed to the United Nations and other world organizations to give up their silence and impress upon India to release Muhammad Yasin Malik and other Kashmiri detainees from jails. World Kashmir Awareness Forum General Secretary Dr. Ghulam Nabi Fai on the occasion asked India if Yasin Malik is a terrorist as it claims, then why the then Prime Minister Dr. Manmohan Singh had an official meeting with Yasin Malik in February 2006 and sought his help for initiation of peaceful negotiation on the Kashmir dispute. AP8C AJK convener Mohammad Farooq Rahmani in a statement in Islamabad called upon the United Nations to take tangible measures against India for murderous assaults on the Muslims across the country. He said instead of expressing regrets over the derogatory remarks of BJP leaders and protecting lives of 250 million Muslims, Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi has kept his mouth shut on the burning issue of blasphemy by his party leaders. Senior Indian National Congress leader and former minister P. Chidambam suffered a fracture in his left rib after he was manhandled by Delhi police during the party's protest against summoning of party leader and the member of Lok Sabha Rahul Gandhi by the enforcement directorate in connection with the National Herald case. The INC organized a Satyagra, the civil disobedience march across India in which many party leaders were detained during the day by the police. Meanwhile, the jamiyat e ulma hind on Monday moved the Supreme Court seeking directives to the UP government to stop demolition drives undertaken without following due process of law. A Chinese foreign ministry spokesperson expressed concern over the situation emerged as a result of BJP leaders' blasphemous remarks causing strong dissatisfaction among Indian Muslims and Islamic countries.